In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about regression. In the end, we come up with equations and numbers and formulas, and it looks nasty. Anyway, I will walk you through it and hopefully make it as simple as possible. I'm going to start with the independent variable, which is the x-axis, and I'm making these numbers up, but I'll plot them out. And also the dependent variable, which is the y-axis, and I'll plot numbers there as well. I'm just going to label the y-axis. So I'll put in uh, points for these observation, and this observation here is the first one, which is 1, and y is equal to 2, where x is equal to 1 and y is 2. Let me drop in the second observation, and it's located at point 2, 4, and I'll just put in all the other observations in now. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take the mean of the x values. I'm going to kind of highlight what we're going to do and then do it. So we're taking the mean of the x values, which is 3. And then I'm going to take the mean or the average of the y values, or the dependent variable, which is 4, and only draw that line in. It turns out that all regression lines have to go through that point there. That's where the mean of the independent variable and the mean of the dependent variable cross. To do this, I'm going to take the distance from the x value to the mean for all observations. And I'll do the same thing uh, for the y's. I will take the distance each observation is from the y mean. So let me go ahead and start doing this now. I'll draw back in the 3, the mean the 3. So I'm going to take the x value minus the mean at each point. So the first point is 1 minus 3, which is the mean. And this is equal to negative 2. The next point is 2 minus 3, the mean of 3. Which is negative 1. The next observation happens to be right on the mean, so it's 3 minus 3, which is 0. Now I have 4 minus 3, which is 1. And finally, 5 minus 3, which is 